In 2011, on the advice of then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, the United States military began bombing Syria. Now, it was never clear why we did that. Why would we want to kill the leader, I mean, of Libya, rather? Why would we want to kill Muammar Gaddafi when, bad guy though he was, he was helping us at the time? What was the purpose? We're still not sure we know what the aftermath was, one of the greatest humanitarian crises of our lives. Slaves are now sold in open-air markets in Tripoli, along with child rape and the normal miseries of a disintegrating society. So Hillary Clinton has been asked about this, not very often, but occasionally. Has she apologized? No. And said she's laughed about it. Watch this. That is the land of unconfirmed rapists. Yes, we came, we saw, <laughs> he died. <laughs> did it have anything to do with your visit? No, I'm, I'm sure it did. Imagine cackling like that when you talk about someone dying. It doesn't matter who it is. Momar Kaffee, it doesn't matter. It's a human being who died on your orders and you're laughing about it. So that's obviously psychotic behavior, obvious to most people. But if you point that out in public, her many failures, Hillary Clinton's and the neocon foreign policy establishment more broadly, they have a response. It used to be maybe they would try to defend what they did or explain why it was in America's national interest. Now they just call you a traitor. Here's Hillary Clinton saying that on a podcast yesterday. The Russian government even broadcasts uh, Tucker Carlson, who appears on Fox News, because of what he says in support of Putin or casting doubt on uh, those who are seeing with our own eyes what Putin is doing. It evokes the role of left wing apologists for communism, you know, in, in, the, in the last century. And I think their behavior comes out of something similar. Their dislike of their own country, of the United States, of the nature of modern America, is so strong that they are looking for alternatives anywhere, even if those are autocratic alternatives. <laughs> Ann Applebaum. <laughs> if she's a foreign policy expert, trust us, we're in trouble. But what's so interesting is that the people who legitimately loathe America, who won't stand for the national anthem, who tell you this country was born in sin and iniquity and its core institutions are rotten and you should feel shame for living here. Those are exactly the people calling anyone who criticizes their terrible foreign policy decisions as a traitor to America. You just don't love America enough. Say the people won't stand for the national anthem. It's hilarious. On the other hand, you know what Hillary Clinton does to her enemies, so we're watching carefully. So 